Hello students, today we will discuss IB Physics SL Paper 2, November 2018. My name is Neriman Merim, I am located in Baku, you can see my mobile and email. Two ma main uh, sources I can mention, it is main huge textbook from Oxford 2014 or shorter textbook by Tim Kirk, Oxford 2014. For examples, I recommend to have IB Physics Guide, but for sure you should have Physics Data Booklet with formulas, and this booklet will be available for you at the exams. This exam was 7 questions for 1 hour 15 minutes. Let's look to the cover page. Uh, cover page... Um, Clean copy of physics data booklet is required. Calculator is required. Done. Okay, so question one. Iron thrust engines can power spacecraft. In this type of engine, ions are created in a chamber and expelled from the spacecraft. The spacecraft is in outer space when the propulsion system is turned on. The spacecraft starts from rest. The mass of the ions ejected each second space and the speed of each ion. The initial total mass of spacecraft assumes that the ions travel away from the spacecraft parallel to its direction of motion. Determine the initial acceleration of the spacecraft. So, uh, first we give an information. So, uh, mass per second ejected, velocity and mass of fuel mass of rocket with fuel. So force equals mass time acceleration, acceleration equals force over mass, force equals rate of change of momentum, and here rate of change of momentum turns into rate of flow of mass multiplied by velocity. So we we'll find the force and we divide by mass of rocket and fuel to get the initial acceleration. Why initial? Because fuel will be lost with time. B. Initial mass of 60 kg of fuel is in the spacecraft for a journey to a planet. Half of the fuel will be required to slow down the spacecraft before arrival at the destination planet. Estimate the maximum speed. So half will be required means half will be spent. It means that 30 kg of fuel will be spent. So, to know how much time it will take, we'll divide mass by rate of flow of, ma uh, of mass, and we get so many seconds. Then we use sec uh, section 2.1 uh, to find final velocity. So, as initial velocity is zero, we get this answer with two significant figures. Why two? Because, for example, mass is with two uh, significant figures. Outline why scientists sometimes use estimate in making calculations to make equations simpler. C. In practice, the ions leave the spacecraft at the range of angles as shown. Outline why the ions are likely to spread out. They have the same sign of charge and they repel each other. Explain what effect, if any, this spreading of the ion has on the acceleration of the spacecraft. The forces between the ions do not affect the force on the spacecraft and there is no effect on acceleration. On arrival at the planet, the spacecraft goes into an orbit, into orbit as it comes into the gravitational field of the planet. Outline what is meant by gravitational field strength at a point. Force per unit charge acting on small mass placed at the point in the field. Double I. Newton's law of gravitation applies to point masses. Suggest why the law can be applied to satellite orbiting a spherical planet of uniform density. Satellite has a much smaller size than the planet, so approximately so approximates to a point charge. So here we have one point. So one idea given, one point gained. Question two. A lighting system consists of two long metal rods with potential difference maintained between them 
Identical lamps can be connected between the rows as required. The following data are available for the lamps at the working temperature. Each rod, so A, question A. Each rod is to have a resistance no greater than, calculate in meters the minimum radius of each, give you answer the approximate number of significant figures. So section 5.2, resistivity formula, is rewritten for resistance formula. Resistance should be less than 0 0.10. Uh, so expression for resistance, uh, rewritten for, uh, so we can rewrite this inequality for A. And we know that uh, cross-section area is PR squared, so we get value for R squared more than. And when, when we square root this value, we get this answer. Answer is given with two significant figures because, for example, uh, resistance is also two significant figures. B. Calculate the maximum number of lamps that can be connected between the rows. Neglect the resistance of the rows. Maximum power supply is, according to section 5.2, power is voltage times current. Maximum voltage, maximum current, we get maximum power. Number of lamps is total power by each power. Each power is 5, we get 38.4. So we need whole number of lamps. This is why we use, uh, answer is 38 lamps. One advantage of this system is that if one lamp fails, then the other lamps in the circuit remain lit. Outline other, one other electrical advantage of this system compared to one in which the lamps are connected in series. In parallel, the potential difference across the, each lamp will be operating 24 volt. Question 3. A chicken's egg of mass is dropped onto a grass from a height. The egg comes to rest in a time. Assume that air resistance is negligible and the egg doesn't bounce or break. Determine the magnitude of average and decelerating force that the ground exerts on the egg. First of all, uh, at which speed it uh, strikes the ground. So mass, height, u, g, v. So uh, section no t. So section two one give us velocity. The deceleration takes in so much time. So uh, initial velocity will be the velocity of strike. So we strike the ground with this velocity, and finally it should be stopped. Uh, here. Uh, different options. One uh, straightforward option is section 2-4 resultant force equals change of momentum by time, change of momentum mv minus mu. We find 5.1. But uh, they ask resistive force, resistive uh, decelerating force. Decelerating force is F and resultant force is F minus mg because mg is making the egg still accelerate. So we rewrite this, so resistance of resultant force we found, we rewrite this formula for the accelerating force, and it appears to be 5.6, a bit different from maximum. Explain why the egg is likely to break when dropped onto concrete from the same height. Concrete reduces the stopping time. The acceleration is greater, so force is greater. As a equals delta v. So if delta t is smaller, A is greater and F is greater. Question 4. A pipe is open at both ends. A first harmonic standing wave is set up in the pipe. The diagram shows the variation of displacement of air molecules in the pipe with distance along the pipe at time t. The frequency of the first harmonic is F. Uh, an air molecule is situated at point X in the pipe at time zero. Describe the motion of this air molecule during the one complete cycle of the standing wave beginning from time zero. Uh, so it uh, air molecules move. So here it is. Uh, on the left, so it will move forward and then backward, forward and then backward. 
The speed, next question, B, the speed of sound C for longitudinal waves in air is given by, where rho is the density and K is constant. A student measures F when the length is of pipe is 1.4, the density of air determined in kilograms the value of K. So uh, given information, frequency, rho, L, uh, because it is fundamental frequency, uh, because uh, here we have anti-node, anti-node, it distance will be lambda over 2, so lambda over 2 equals the length of the pipe, so lambda equals 2L. So the speed can be found uh, uh, using wave equation, frequency multiplied by wavelength. So speed we found. Now we copy this formula over here, make square root of both sides, rewrite formula for k, and now we know c speed and we know density. So we can find constant k. A transmitter of electromagnetic wave is next to a long straight vertical wall that acts as a plane mirror to the wave. An observer on board detects the waves both directly as an image from the other side of the wall. The, the diagram shows one way, one ray from the transmitter reflected at the wall and the position of the image. Demonstrate using second ray that the image appears to come from the position indicated. So I copied the diagram here. So I send ray. Ray is reflected at the same angle. This is why I have also here normal. And pr projected backwards, it shows that it comes from point position of the image. Outline why the observer detects a series or of increase and decrease in intensity of the received signal as the boat moves along the line x y. So here actually we have now two sources of uh, of uh, waves. One comes from transmitted itself, another from position. And along x y we will get. Uh, constructive and destructive interference. Constructive interference if pass difference will be n lambda, destructive if it is n plus half lambda. So it is, it is written here. Okay, question 5. The diagram shows the position of the principal lines in the visible spectrum of atomic hydrogen and some of the corresponding energy levels of the hydrogen atom. So energy levels and here spectrum. Determine the energy of a photon of blue light in the hydrogen spectrum. So formula from booklet give us this value, 4.6. Identify with an arrow labeled B on the diagram the, ten, uh, the transition in the hydrogen spectrum that gives rise to... So uh, the energy change should be equal to 4.6. I found that it is for combination of 544 and... 0, uh, 47, so, uh -huh, so this energy, and I put here label, decide, this is my transition. Explain your answer to B. Difference in energy level is equal to the energy of the photon, downward area as energy is lost, uh, falls from high energy level to le low energy level. So some words for two points. Question 6. The ratio of distance mass to sun and earth to sun is 1.5. Show that the intensity of solar radiation at the orbit of Mars is about so much. A booklet solar constant is so much as we know intensity is inversely proportional to distance squared if we divide intensity mass by intensity of earth we will get inverse ratio of squares and we use this value which because it is ratio of distances and then we rewrite 
our ratio for Mars and we get this value about okay so with two significant figures determine in Kelvin the mean surface temperature of Mars assume that Mars acts as a black body so because we have equilibrium how much energy is gained, so much energy is absorbed, so much energy is radiated. Energy falling in one second is 400 by PR squared. Equals energy radiated in one squared, intensity 4 pi r squared. So actually here intensity of radiation should be four times less. Then we use uh, a formula from section a2 for intensity uh, so for power uh, we rewrite it for intensity it is power by area so we know that it is 600 divided by 4 uh, so black body emissivity E is 1 this is Stefan Boltzmann constant and T uh, to the fourth power we take a fourth root of this value and we get answer with two significant figures done the atmosphere of mars is composed mainly of carbon dioxide and has a pressure less than one percent of that on the earth outline why greenhouse effect is not significant so uh, greenhouse effect um, more, uh, is uh, associated with carbon dioxide because uh, the amount of molecules and pressure pressure and molecules on Mars of carbon dioxide is less than on Earth we have low, uh, very little effect of greenhouse effect and very little is re-radiated back to Mars question 7 liquid oxygen at each boiling point is stored in an insulated tank. Gases oxygen is produced from the tank when required using an electric heater placed in liquid. The following data are available. Distinguish between internal energy of oxygen at the boiling point when it is in its liquid phase and when it is in the gas phase. So first of all, to get two points, let's write many ideas. First of all, definition. Internal energy is the sum of all potential and kinetic energy of molecules of oxygen. Potential energy of mo molecules in gaseous state is zero. In liquid state, it will be negative. So average kinetic energy of molecules in gas and liquid is the same. Gases have a higher internal energy. B. An oxygen flow rate is needed. Calculate in kilowatt the heater power required. So power equals energy over time. In one second uh, we have so much kilograms. So uh, energy equals mass times latent heat. Latent heat is given. So in one second we need so much energy and we use two significant figures. Calculate the volume of the oxygen produced in one second when it is allowed to expand to pressure and reach a temperature. So we turn temperature in Celsius into Kelvin. Uh, in one second we have in one second we have so many moles and section 3.2 uh, equation for ideal gas we rewrite for volume and we give answer to two significant figures last question c state one assumption of the kinetic model of an ideal gas that doesn't apply to oxygen oxygen is real gas it is not ideal ideal gas has point objects no intermolecular force no liquefaction liquefying Ideal gas assumes monoatomic particles. Collision between particles are elastic. Uh, this is the end of the paper. Thank you very much for your attention. Good luck in your exams.